Welcome to the short video on taking role inside of Zoom. This method is the easiest way I know for you to take role and have a good record of it. We're all used to taking role at the beginning of class, but our numbers are normally 20 or 30 kids in a classroom. Now that we're doing a Zoom on a Monday, well, some of us are having 30, 40, 50, even 60 kids in one classroom. How do you keep up with that? This is going to be my fix for it. Since this is the free version, it's a workaround, but it's not too difficult, and I think it makes a good record for you. When you're inside of Zoom, you have to make sure that your settings are set for your chat to be recorded. So when you do that, click on your icon, and when you see that, you'll be able to go to settings, scroll down, well, click settings, scroll down, and what you're looking for is a section on chat. If you can't find it, hit Command F and type in chat. If you notice, chat is already set on. Private chat is set off. That's my personal preference. You don't have to do it that way. But the important one is the bot the next one. Auto saving chats. This allows the in-meeting chat to automatically save and it saves as a bundle within a folder that's going to be sent to you once you end the meeting. If you do that, it has a record of everyone in chat who said something. So if they come into your class, the moment they get there, they type in here or present, well then you'll have a record of everyone in there, but they have to type something. So here's an example of these chat files. Zoom sends me a folder and has the video file and the chat file. So I'm gonna click on one of the chat files so you can see what I'm talking about. If you notice, it opens as a text file everyone who typed something shows up in that file. So once again, if you have your students, as soon as they get to your chat room or your Zoom session, to type in something. It can be here, it can be present. You could even make up something unique. That way it's very easy to find who all was there. So then you can type in Command F and then you can type in whatever that word is, okay? So just make sure they can spell it and then, and then you'll be okay. Uh, but once again, this allows you to get a text file sent to you from Zoom the moment you end your meeting and it's saved on your computer. You have a record of attendance. This allows you to keep up with who's coming, who's not coming. And um, it's just something that once you set it up that way, you don't have to do it any differently. So once again, make sure it auto saves chats. You're good to go. I hope this helps. Any other questions, call, text, email. We're here for you. Thanks.